Michael Beltrami once again. Buck Sanders, congratulations. Thank Oscar you. nominated uh, you. team. Fantastic effort. You guys have known each other since 1997? Yes. How did this particular collaboration on the Hurt Locker, how did it come about that you guys are officially a team? It's not the first time um, that we've actually collaborated on scores and even shared credit on movies. We work closely together um, sometimes um, well on a movie like The Hurt Locker where it's really an integration of, of sound and, and, um, and music it, it worked out that we were basically doing the work everything together and so we said to Catherine you know we really should be sharing credit on this and she, she agreed. How does that work out? I mean, I, I don't want to, like, get in your private business, but does it work out where if, if one does this much and the other does this much? It's not like that. Um, I actually talk, I've been talking for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I hold one of his children ransom. <laughs> no, uh, I, you know, it's, it's, it's not any sort of specific formula that we have. I guess it's, uh, it's, it's something that we don't even know at the beginning of the film, and you know, it's towards the end after the process is finished. You know, Marcos will suggest, "Hey, let's share credit on this." And uh, but it's, it's very gracious. You know. We we work. Um, it, it's it's not like we split up the cues because we do diff completely different things. I uh, all this stuff, this fancy stuff that you see back here. I don't I don't really know much about it. I come from a more traditional orchestral background, as, we, as we've talked about. Um, Buck is uh, really has taken a, a, a deep interest and has a passion with electronics and, and um, sound manipulation. And when we conceive of uh, what a film needs, oftentimes it's a hybrid of these elements, and w each of our strengths interact in this way, and depending on the film, in the Hurt Locker, it turned out that the, the sound is the score, you know, so it made a lot of sense to actually list as, a, as co collaborators on mm -hmm. it. On some things, it, it might be, uh, you know, Buck is still involved in every project that my name is listed on, um, on 310 to Yuma, all the, the, you know, the fishing string in the uh, bowing, the piano, and all that. These are ideas that Buck had. Um, so. It's always present. It's different degrees of, of what the, the collaboration is, but uh, but we work together. It's sort of you know right hand left hand. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely tied. It's it's always been a little difficult to sort of what's what's my credit going to be and uh, guitar you know, wrangler. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd put anything from guitar wrangler or just you know synth or uh, mm -hmm. I, I just finally just settled on score co-produced by and it just sort of entails a bunch of different elements and uh, I, ju I try not to get too concerned about you know what, what's the credit going to be or does it perfectly describe what I do because I just we, we have such a strong partnership I, I just want to keep working with mm -hmm. Marco and I you know yeah. well, but on the Hurt Locker it was a little bit different because even the thematic material it's not like I came up with themes and and booked it sound I mean even that the, from the first uh, kernel of thematic idea. Uh, it was really a collaboration. Buck came up with like the first few phrases, and then I continued the, the phrases uh, melodically. So it was even after that, it was a real collaboration. Each scene, you know, maybe Buck would start on something, I would finish, or vice versa, or you know, we, we would work on it together. We'd sit here, and we only have, as you can see, we have one computer that we work at. So um, you know, sometimes we sit here and. You know, did, did you guys uh, work together and be friends for 13 years? So this is a genuine working relationship and friendship, I take it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you're both real nice guys, obviously. So, but when people get successful, things do change sometimes. You know, I I, I didn't even bring it up because maybe you, you know you might start getting hired for jobs and you guys still work out here or whatever. Do you see any complications, possibilities in the future? Or, because you're both Oscar nominated now, you know. 
Right. Well, I mean, it's, it's again. I don't want to you know bring up anything. It's the uh, Howard Stern of uh, <laughs> Stern of trouble here. Yeah. Uh, the uh, no, look, it, everything's worked out well. If there was something that bucks out, there's something that I, I want to do here on my own. You know, if, if we were if we were working on something, it became you know problematic time wise. I could see, but um, so far our interests are are been the same in, in terms of working on projects here uh, mm -hmm. and. It's sort of a process for growing together, I think. Uh, you know, I see more collaboration in the future rather than, than less. Artistically, you know, I'm just extremely happy, you know, working on these films and, you know, feel very blessed to be able to have the job I have. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's so it's, it's really awesome to be able, you know, to share credit, you know, that sort of makes mom happy. No. <laughs> one, th one thing that could yeah. be interesting, uh, now, since uh, now Buck got this nomination, uh, you know, he's had some agents that have called and they're like, well, can we represent you? And, and, you know, meanwhile, I have an agent, but it's something where we're thinking, well, maybe we should get two different agents and then we'll have to go over and we'll have to to pick from. <laughs>